Greetings, sisters and brothers. Before we get started, have some libations with me to the ancestors. That's what we do in the Church of Divinity. We say the Church of Divinity. Today, I say, we are going to church. Now, the legal name of this temple, Perinator Kemet, is the Church of Divinity, C-O-D, because see, in the church, we collect. But I haven't been collecting my dues, or I would have tephesis. But anyway, we gonna move on. <laughs> now, today I am the right reverend Roy Rich. Now, I changed my name to Rich because I figured, I figured this all out by myself. It's, if 50 cent name is 50 Cent, and he rich, and if Creflo Dollar is named after one dollar, a dollar, who names themselves after a dollar, but anyway, he rich, well I'm well, shit, well don't say shit in the church, well I'm say sh that why? Well, I'm going to name myself the Right Reverend Roy Rich. So, now, what are we going to talk about today or tonight? Because it's night. You see, when I was growing up back in the 70s and the 60s, well, it should be the 60s and then 70s. They had a preacher. <laughs> and this preacher name was Reverend Ike. <laughs> and see, in them days, as a child, I don't know where I heard it from. I think because my mother's good friend was a, uh, uh, you know, a person that went to Reverend Ike Church. And for some reason, uh, we had the idea that Reverend Ike was just another pimp type preacher. <laughs> Little did we know, you see, the man had the pimp hair. The man had, the <laughs> he had the pimp suit. <laughs> The pimp clothes, the colorful things. The man had the pimp car. Do you understand? The man had the pimp house. Or oh, that's at least what we called it. <laughs> but one thing we didn't notice about this preacher. The man talked real shit. We don't say shit in the church. What I'm about to play for you is Reverend Ike preaching at his church, you see. Now, people will tell you 
if you teach your congregation how to heal their bodies, how to make money, how to do for self, that you won't have a congregation. The churches would be empty. Well, you're going to hear what I'm about to play, and I say that it's totally opposite. His church is full, and it's teaching people that the mind, <laughs> I said the mind is the thing that can heal your body, is the thing that can bring you wealth and prosperity. The mind can change your life. Let's listen to Reverend Ike. <laughs> Oops, the end. Not answered by telling you that prayer is neither heard nor answered by a God in the sky. Preacher. I want to give you a new definition for prayer, some of you. Prayer is a positive mental transaction within your own mind. Prayer is a positive mental transaction within your own mind. Wow. And so as such, prayer is not even a religious exercise. Preacher? Prayer is what you say to yourself within yourself. Oh, I'm thinking and about it. I to put it in the first person again because I want you to be able to use this message. Prayer is what I say about myself within myself. Hmm. True. And I want to go back to the text that we read a few moments ago concerning the episode of the woman with the issue of blood in the Gospels. In the Gospels, there is this lady who had an issue of blood for 12 years and who had tried all kinds of remedies and good talk. physicians, but nothing helped her. And finally, Jesus came to town to conduct a meeting. She had heard about him. How many people had been blessed and helped and healed through the ministry of Jesus? And the words of the scripture, which I just read, tell us that she said within herself, if I may but touch his clothes, I shall be made whole. And I want to point out something to you good Bible people that perhaps you've never noticed before. Notice where this woman's prayer was said. Good Bible people? People Notice where this woman's prayer took place. This woman did not address her prayer to a God in the sky. But the scripture says what? She said within herself. If I may but touch his clothes, I shall be made whole. And so I want to suggest to you a new way of prayer. When you pray, you are really talking to yourself. You are talking to your own mind. You are convincing yourself of the good which you desire. And here again, you know, when you pray, you have no one to convince but yourself. So many people waste a lot of time with this so-called religious praying by trying to convince a God in the sky to do something for them or to give them something. But here again, and I have to hold a guideline on the scriptures because we're going into the Bible Belt. <laughs> Bible this belt. woman's prayer took place within herself. She said within herself, if I may but touch his clothes, I shall be made whole. That was a mental transaction which she made within her own mind. To go into a bit of mind science and science of living for a moment, 
her conscious mind impressed the idea of healing, the idea of wholeness, the idea of restored health upon her subconscious mind. And this is the mental transaction. These are the mental mechanics which take place when you pray. The conscious mind conveys an idea to the subconscious mind. With her conscious mind, she selected the idea of wholeness, the idea of health, the idea of healing, and declared it and affirmed it. And the subconscious mind accepted that idea of healing and of wholeness. Call it Usar. This is why here in these services, we're always affirming, even to the point of being redundant. Redundancy. I want you to know that I am purposely redundant in my messages and in my classes. Mathematics. Oh, of course, I studied theology, over and over. homiletics, and hermeneutics. Hermeneutics. But I found that people don't need that. People need something that they can use. People need the truth presented to them in such a way that it will set them free. Now, that was preaching. Talk about Jesus and all that stuff, but in that one sermon, he just gave them the keys to their own mental freedom. And once you are free mentally, <laughs> your body is free. Your mind is free. You free your body. The spirit is free by itself. You are, you again, are the one that encapsulate your spirit into whatever your mind has encapsulated into. Is it not written in your law? I said, ye are God and all of you are the children of the Most High. Make thy eyes single. It's all in there. It's, Y'all just don't know it because it's all jumbled up, you know. But we getting there. Y'all going to learn one day. You're going to keep on listening to people, you know, old people with no teeth as sisters like me that talk real shit. Uh, ha! We don't say shit in the chat. We had a goddamn butt. We don't say goddamn in the chat.